YouTube. I'm about to do another bridge. <laughs> I'm sure everybody's excited about that. This is the Thorough Dam in Tallahassee, Alabama. There is a lot of traffic here, so I can't help that. It's just going to be what it's going to be. This is a really old place. They originally built this dam to power a cotton gin and a brick factory. And it is actually still running to this day. It's almost a hundred years old. There was actually one here before they built this and it would have been a hundred years old. You can look way back in the back there. There's another dam. That connects to Lake Martin or creates Lake Martin. I believe Lake Martin has three dams. I'm not positive about that. I don't think I'm going to walk all the way across this because we're going to be able to see most of what it's got almost to that fence there. I did a video earlier where I was showing um, waterfalls. And the water was up so high, it wasn't there. So I figured I'd come out, show you where the source is. And apparently they run in that water for power because there's none coming over this, as you can see. And the water there was definitely up. When I was growing up, we would drive through here. This is the same county that I live in, but I never really came here as a teenager. I started coming here more as a young adult. I've never walked on this bridge before. I was looking to see if there's any fish in that water. It's really, Shocking how high up this is. I'd never get my phone back if I dropped it. I'm just going to trust that you can see and hear me. I'm going to try to not talk when the cars are coming. See what we can do. Man, that's actually beautiful down there. I've never been able to see this except for driving by where the water has eaten away at the rock. Let me get in front of it and I'll bring it down where we can see it. I never know if this thing's in focus or what's happening because I don't actually see it myself until I load it on YouTube and then I realize things weren't in focus. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that or not because I can't. I can't even zoom in to it for you because I can't find a place to all right let's see the shadow of the bridge you can see in there where that water has just worked holes in that rock it is unbelievable I hope y'all can see this. It's quite beautiful, really. Let me pull this back in. Oh, 
this whole thing moves up and down when them trucks go over. That's a weird feeling. Not used to that. I can see where all the water's coming from now. They are generating the power. I thought maybe they were getting ready for winter and they used to let the lakes down real low in the fall and winter time. People can get out there and fix their docks and piers and things like that or build. A lot of building going on out there. Man, that's beautiful. Wish I knew if y'all could see that or not. I'm gonna walk up and get a little closer. It's strange when you're not in your area. I mean, I'm in my county. This is not my area. See a big old turtle down there. There'd be some good fishing right there in that waterway right there. There's some beautiful layers in that rock. I don't know if that focus is in. Y'all just watching a big old blurry thing and listening to me talk. Or you done got smart and turned it off. I'm across the street right up here and you talk about a beautiful view. Across the street is something else. I know if you've used these phones to make any kind of videos, you know when that sun is hitting your screen, you can't see anything. I've had some pretty good luck so far. I've done some blurry stuff, but this is for my pleasure. And anybody that actually enjoys seeing such things. I'm going to go ahead and cross this street. Oh. Look at that. That is beautiful. the waterfalls down there it's not usually like that you can usually see islands with trees on it and rocks that was the old brick need to move out of here I got me some yellow jackets swarming me must be in their territory it's probably 90 degrees out here so all the bugs are getting their last go around before whatever happens to them. Man, this bridge must be full of yellow jackets. I don't know if y'all can see all these yellow jackets. They are flat swarming. 
See all these old factories? I know that was a brick brick factory. But I was reading a sign earlier. It said this was a cotton gin here. And this dam was used to power it. Well, I'm lucky I hadn't got stung, man. These jokers are swarming everywhere, all along this bridge. Needless to say, they don't use that bridge down there anymore. I don't know if I already said it or not, but when I was a kid, this bridge was made out of wood, and it would flat horrify us to go over it. I mean, it was something scary. I got to get off this bridge. It got these yellow jackets everywhere. I've never seen nothing like this before. I mean, there's a bee every other step. And once one of them jokers get mad at you, they flat put out a signal and they'll all start coming at you. So good fishing in here too. When I was filming earlier, I was way down there around the bend. I believe they were going to turn this place into a, an apartment complex, condos or whatever you'd want to call it when they refurbish old buildings. Man, I got to get out of here. These bees are swarming. I'm so glad I haven't got stung. All right, look, I'm going to do this. That right there is downtown Tallahassee. You can see the little water tower up there. It's probably one block by block. It's a small little town. You never hear of anything bad happening here. I'm sure they got teenagers and stuff do things or domestic, but it's a great little place. I have worked here before and I've had my nieces grow up here and go to high school. It's a nice little getaway town. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to go ahead and end this. Y'all be blessed. Thanks for watching. I'm going to try to let this joker get by me. Y'all have a blessed day.